Knuckle Up, brought to you by Burfield Creative. As we start the second round, as I was saying, Tim Chadwick got TKO'd in his first fight, but he says it was too heavy and he was unprepared. He went in at a day's notice. So you really can't count that as much in his record. So this is really two guys coming out looking for their first win. Now, Tim Chadwick uh, was taken down to the ground. He went for a guillotine choke from, ha uh, he had half guard. However, um, Cal Francis had one arm in, and unless you are technically adept and really skilled, you're not gonna pull off that type of guillotine choke. It's very difficult to get, and it can also uh, fatigue your arms trying to get that. Now, with these rules, Nevada State amateur rules, you've got headshots on the floor, the slightly bigger gloves. I don't think you want to be dropping to your back. No. And again, he needs to be more active from his back. You can't just lay there. Now, Cal Francis, once again, leg looping over and able to get that mount position. He was able to use this very effectively in the first. Now, Chadwick is trying to use his hips to try to do a slight bump, make some space. However, he has to be careful not to give his back. And that's a lot of work right there in that transition. A lot of strength being used by Chadwick, and it comes back to the same position with Cal Francis in the mount. Yeah, I mean, all the time he's risking arm bars, he's risking being caught with a rear naked choke as he tries to get out. I'd like to see him kind of maybe trying to lock up the legs, then uh, really bridging over. You know. Now, with Cal Francis, with all fours like that, you could break him down like a table, meaning you grab one arm, grab one leg, and you buck to that side. You essentially break the table. However, Cal Francis is hip to that, and he's able to base out effectively. So, elbow escapes, knee to elbow escapes. There's a Cal lot of Francis things. Cal Francis is doing a really great job here of using his head to guide the punches in. Look at this. This is some great ground and pound. I, th I think a big flurry here from Cal Francis could end the fight, Pierre. Yeah, I just wonder how tired Chadwick is right now. hes I mean, he's tried to transition out of that position. However, each and every time it ends up with him either on the back or with Cal Francis in a, basically a dominant position. Yeah, it's got to be very disheartening. And not only that, he's in the corner. You know, Cal Francis is in his own corner. He's listening to the instructions. Now, this that's it. It's on. Now, I wonder how much of that, because it did. Chadwick didn't really fight that. I wonder how much of that was just through fatigue and just being tired. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, his heart had already gone there. He well was done, caught. Guys, great fight. Well He'd done, been in a bad button. position all the way through the fight. I think Cal Francis did a really good job of controlling. Once he passed that guy, he really controlled it well. He was firing a lot of shots, looking to set up the submissions. And I think he'd really beaten the heart out of Tim Chadwick. Jonathan Slater versus Andy Drayton. I think he's been really hard for the last few months. I'm really comfortable in that tonight. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about him. I think he's a bit of a grappler, but wherever the fight goes, I'm ready to take it. I've got good ground skills myself. My wrestling's good. As I said, wherever the fight goes, I'm ready for it. It's my first fight. I want to get in there. I want to get my name out there. I want to make a point. So, uh, yeah, if I can make an impact, fantastic. Uh, to be honest, I don't mind if it finishes early. I've got to take skill the whole fight. I don't know anything about him. and I'm just trying to fight my best game. So um, I'll be just doing my best and my and what I know. I, I go in there to stand up. I enjoy standing up, um, and then um, if or when it ends up on on the ground, I'm pretty much at home as well. So um, yeah, I'm, I guess you could say I'm pretty much all rounder. I work to um, fight my game, and if that's exciting, well, I'm jolly good. But if I have opportunity to end it, I will end it as soon as possible. Um, and sometimes that's not what the crowd wants. So um, hopefully they'll enjoy seeing whatever I have to show them. Now, Andy Drayton out of Gracie Baja Bath. Gracie, I mean, it says it all. Top jujitsu. And he has the body that suits that style of fighting. He's long, lean, able to get the legs going, the arms going. And he's kind of like a, a very snake like bubble constrictor with his jujitsu. And he'll be fighting John Slater out of Gods of War, trying to bring the first win home to this gym. Good shots. Very be frantic start with a stand up. Both these guys wanting to get in there quickly. Now you, you have Drayton on the bottom. He's got, uh, he just went into full guard. Again, with that long snake-like body, he's gonna be able to wiggle his way into uh, you know possible arm bars, triangles, etc. And look at him, he's constantly hunting for that. Head control, 
you need to be very careful when you're in the full guard of anyone from Gracie Baja. You know, really good groundwork jujitsu. But it looks like he's wanting to stand back up here. I think maybe Andy Drayton wants the top position. Now, John Slater has impressed me in that he initiated that takedown. He's gotten the top position. He's been able to defend against any submission attempt so far, and now he's potentially going to take the back. However, uh, Drayton was a little bit smart for that and decided to turn back around. Yes, yeah, certainly, but he's got the mountain position here, John Slater. He says he's going to come in much fitter. He learned a lot from his last fight, which was a split decision. And he says tonight there's going to be no decision, Pierre. Now, that was just a, basically a muscle move there by Andy. He looked for a leg trip, couldn't get it, so he just basically just shoved John Slater down to the mat. And he's been rewarded with that top position, fixing to go possible knee on belly. However, John Slater is able to put his leg up in, in the stomach. And again, look, I tell you what, this John Slater is impressing me. He got back up on his feet. He's been able to defend the submission attempts, and he's gotten himself out of a couple bad situations. I was thinking exactly the same thing, Pierre, and there's a lot to be said for a guy who's gone a split decision on a day's notice. You know, that's someone who's not going to quit. And also, he's from South Africa. You know how they breed him down there, just tough. <laughs> but there he fielded a very heavy leg kick from Andy Drayton. And I think this is a little bit of uh, what I would say role reversal. You've got the Gracie Baja guy trying to keep it on the stand-up, and the Gods of War, uh, John Slater, has initiated the takedown on a couple of attempts here. And he's going for a possible high crotch here. However, Andy Drayton has a big, solid base, and it's really hard for a shorter man to get a taller man up off his feet like that. You don't have to tell me about that, Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> but, but saying then, that... <laughs> John Slater shows us exactly how to do it, Pierre. Uh, yeah, as you said, I think this is a bit of a role reversal of how I expected the fight to be. We've seen Andy Drayton from Gracie Baja trying to get himself back up to the feet and not really working the sweeps and stuff, whereas we've seen John Slater taking the jiu-jitsu man to the floor and doing well with it. Yep, Slater came in, ate a up kick from Andy Drayton. However, he was able to slide past and go straight into side, well, a modified side mount. Uh, you see that Drayton is trying to use the cage to push back up, get back to the feet. However... He's John been, Slater taking the back. And that looks tight. That does look tight. He's tapped him. Now, that is a great win from John Slater. He jujitsu the jujitsu guy. You know what? I'm going to leave. Come There's on, nothing you can say that will be more yes, money than that on. statement that you just said right there. Phil Wells versus Lloyd Paris. Yeah, I feel good, yeah. Trained hard, happy. I was meant to fight him three weeks ago, but uh, it all fell through, so fighting him here today, happy about it, just want to get in, get stuck in. Never been out of the first round, so just go in there, do what I do, and it'll happen. I work hard, I train five days a week, six days a week, that's when I'm not fighting, and I try and do more when I am. you got to finish fights, don't you? I mean, there's, there's, everyone sees dodgy decisions on the TV, no one wants that. I go and I just do what I do, and. It's gone my way so far, and hopefully tonight will be exactly the same. Oh, I've never seen no fight as easy, so you just got to do what you got to do. I train hard for every fight, like, just, like try to give the crowd what they, what they want to see, like, really. Good stand-up. Good all round, really, hopefully. <laughs> just exciting fights, fireworks. If you had to pick a winner now going into the second round, who would you go with? That's going to be very hard. Like you said, they stack up so evenly just from the first round. However, if I had to go one way or another, um, both guys had flashes in the pan on the stand-up. But Phil Wells was more on. aggressive Put on the ground, and I think he had a better ground control. Now, I'll leave that to the judges. However, maybe Phil Wells. You're thinking for the all-round game, Phil Wells. Yeah. But saying that, Lloyd Paris, definitely one punch could make the difference. He's got some serious power in those hands. You can see him wincing from that leg kick. That was a solid leg kick there. Now, yeah. he's kind of bouncing a little bit gingerly on that leg. That might yeah. be his weakness. I'll tell you what. For a boxer or someone from a boxing stance, um, uh, in my experience, if you go in with that heavy front foot and get caught with a leg kick, it does a lot of damage. Now, Phil Wells lands in the top position in the mount. He's looking to, he's going to want to peel the head off of one Lloyd Paris, put his back to the mat. 
Anytime you extend your arms, you're always, you know, prone for submission, whether it be an arm bar. Um, and again, he, he's going back to that tactic that you said earlier in the first, just trying to hold to get the stand up. Yes, yeah, certainly. And, you know, if, if you can't get the sweep or you can't do it, why not? You know, this is a sport. You're playing by the rules. If, if he can get it stood back up and that's where he wants to be. Now, Phil Wells is in the top position. He's looking to throw, sh throw short stop shots. Now, they're not going to be knockout shots. Now, look at this here. Working the chin <laughs> into the eye. We've all done that before, Pierre. Of course we have. <laughs> and look at the strength once again. However, Wells in the top position, looking to make some space, yeah. really some throwing the leather now here in the first. I'm expecting Lloyd Paris again, showing that power, you know, that awesome power. Could you, will he get out of there? Now, I am definitely here. Oh, this the could be over now. I think Phil this Wells. is over, Pierre. The referee is looking, end. and Phil Wells by referee stoppage. So, if we'd gone with the in round betting, this new craze, you would have won your money there, Pierre. Well, I tell you what, both guys were winners in my eyes. Because well I tell you what, Come on, ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Paris may have lost Great. tonight, but he right, showed well some done. very good energy, very good shapes. He's somebody that you could definitely imagine seeing in the future walking away with the win. But so, let's. He's a debut fighter with a lot of raw talent. I think if he gets the right gym behind him, the right coaching, I think he could be a star. Knuckle Up, brought to you by Burfield Creative.